Hi everyone and thank you for joining me again for another tutorial. I have been getting a lot of requests to show you how to make an invitation in Microsoft Word and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So in front of you you can see a invitation and that is our aim today. We're going to make another one on the other side um, so you can see how I did it step by step. The first thing you'll need to do is open up a new workbook. So we're going to go to File, New Document, and then we're going to go to Layout, Orientation, and Landscape, and then Size. So here in Australia we use A4 paper and so I'm going to do this tutorial today in A4 but it's exactly the same if you're in the US and you are going to use US letterhead. So then once you've got your blank document up then we're going to start putting in all our fields. I have put all the text into text boxes. It is much easier to manipulate and move around. The first element I want to create is this grey box. This is the size of the invitation, so when it's printed and it's cut, it's going to be this size. And this size is 120mm by 180mm, which will fit into a 5 by 7 inch envelope. I'm going to come up to Insert and Table and click on One Cell. Now I'm going to right click inside the cell and go to table properties and so now I'm going to put in my dimensions of my invitation and I know that this invitation is going to be 120 millimeters wide by 180 millimeters high. You can have any size invitation you like as long as it will fit inside your envelope. I'm going to click OK and that's the first box. So I'm going to come up here to this little box over here and I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it down to meet the other one. The next element that I'm going to do is the text boxes and to do that I'm going to come up to insert and click on text box and draw text box. Then I'm going to draw the text box by holding down the mouse button and moving it across. And that gives us the text box. So now in this box we can write anything we like. And then we can also go to home and change the font. So we will probably go Malika which is the name of this font and change the point size to 60. Now I'm going to type the bride's name and drag this box to make sure the proportions are correct. Now something to note here is sometimes the box mucks around with the sizing. So to change that, what we're going to do is double click on the box and go up to Arrange, Wrap Text and click in front of text. Now when I make the box bigger or smaller, it doesn't change anything else in the invitation. So now I want to make this box the width of the invitation. So I'm going to drag that across. Now the text needs to be centered so I'm going to go to home and click on this button here which will center my text. And then so that's it. Now, now we're going to work on the groom's name. So a quick way to do this is to click on the text box you just created and control C or command C and click away and then control V or command V. And now I've got a duplicate box. I'm going to put that underneath and I'm going to change the name. So that's the feature names done. Now we're going to work on the body of the invitation. 
So again, I'm going to click Command V, which will drop down another box. And in this one, we're going to put this text here. So what you would need to do is change the font and the point size and then add in all your information. I'm just going to take this from the other side to save some time. Now play around with the box to make sure it has all your information inside it showing. Um, you can also press the down arrow if you need to go down. So I'll line that up and I will also line the names up and that's the text. So now we're going to add the flowers. Microsoft Word is not the best program to use if you want to insert graphics but I do suggest that if you're going to put a graphic inside your invitations that you would use a very high quality image, approximately 2000 pixels. This is to make sure that when it prints out it will not look rasterized and pixelated. So to insert my picture I'm going to come up to insert, pictures, picture from file, choose your picture, today I'm going to use a .png and that will insert my picture. So now I just need to scale it so just click on one of the boxes and drag until you've got the correct size. I would like to now make sure my image is centered to the width of the invitation and to do that I'm going to come up to picture format and click on align and then align center and that will make sure that it's perfectly centered. If you would like to know how to add guest names to this invitation, click on the I on the top right hand corner of this video and that is where I will leave a link to that video. As always, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next video.